Hi again. You'll notice that it's dark and that I'm doing this by flashlight. That's because with Halloween here, we're going to do a spooky scary video. Except not. I'm actually going to be candling some quail eggs. I got these quail eggs in the mail about, I don't know, a week ago? Yeah, it's been eight days. And I decided tonight that I would go ahead and, uh, I would go ahead and candle them. So, I'm going to show you Actually, I've already candled them, I should say. I separated out the dead ones, or the undeveloped ones, from the live ones, uh, for simplicity's sake, because I didn't want to sit here and try to film this and potentially let these guys there uh, cool down too much. They got actually quite cool when I was doing it the first time. That only took me, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, because there's several of them. There's 50 of them, I should say. Uh... I guess uh, it's time to get started. <laughs> this is an infertile egg. As you can see, it's kind of green-bluish. Maybe that's not showing on the camera very well, but it's kind of a bluish color or a greenish color. Um, and it's very clear. This is day eight, so it should not be this clear. I have a couple of eggs behind me that I have setting in a bowl and I'll show you the difference. So here's a clear infertile one. It's very, very, whoop, there's a light. <laughs> Cover that up. It's very clear, uh, the difference. So this one I'm putting on here is one that has been developing some, and you can't see anything in that egg. Uh, even if I tried, remember how clear the other one was when I shined the light through it? Well, maybe you can't see it that way, but this egg has a baby. This egg has a live little baby in it, and um, because the shells are so dark, it's very difficult to see that, especially with this light that I have, and with this camera, obviously, that I have. Uh, let me see if I can, one of the other eggs is clearer. Let me set this cold one down. I don't want these guys to get too chilly. <coughs> Excuse me. Because, you know, that's bad for them. There was one of them in here that was really, there we go. Maybe you can see, just barely see. That, whoops, that end there, see how it's kind of green? There is a baby inside this, and although it looks like that's one big old yolk, it isn't. And perhaps it might even show it moving, if it's moving. I'm not sure, but uh, this egg, although, like I said, it looks like there's a, a big black spot right here on the camera, there isn't. Uh, this is a very well, 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 getting a little too close. Come on, you can, there you go. This is a very well developed one. Uh, I can see, looking at it, the, um, the veins. And I'll check the video later, and maybe I can do some kind of modification on it. But yeah, see, there's this little cutoff here. That's a live baby. And he doesn't seem to be moving today. He was moving earlier. Um, you can also tell... Ooh. No, maybe not. Never mind. Sometimes you can see on larger eggs. Maybe you can see it here, maybe, once it focuses. Oh, barely. You can see the... I'm trying to show you the air sac. There's a little line about right here. And you can see that air sac in there a lot better in person than you can. This one's quite green. Kind of looks yellow on the screen here. Maybe it doesn't on the picture. But it is also, as you can see, not fertilized. Uh, it's very clear. You can see right through it. Right, this one here, it looks like it's infertile, but it actually started to develop. Uh, it's hard to see on the camera, because that's just the way the camera works, but you can see, if you were to look at it in person, that right here by the X, oh, there it is, right here, see that dark spot? That's a little quitter. He's a little baby that died. Um, I can't tell now, because I've kind of moved him around. This one has no veins anywhere in the rest of the shell. As you can see, it's just sort of the yolk and the black. And the rest of it is very clear. 
the rest of the egg is. Uh, unlike the fertile eggs, or the developing eggs, I should say, because they were probably all fertile, um, where it's very dark. So this one did start to develop, and you can see the little eye spot there. Uh, at least, you know, I, I hope it's dead, because... Oh boy, because I'm going to be dissecting these, or cracking them open. I think what happened with this one is it got a certain got to a certain uh, stage and then it died and I don't know why but there are no veins anywhere else it stopped completely uh, and I can see although the camera probably can't in fact the camera definitely can't there is a blood ring all the way around this it's a very light ring and it looks almost like a uh, the vascular pad that develops whenever the eggs start to grow um, but it is not, because there are no veins. The other ones, they have veins all over their shell. This one has none. So this one was a probably killed by a bacterial infection, or perhaps it got moved around too hard. If it did, that'd be my fault. Most likely, I there I know that there was one that I accidentally kind of dropped a little bit. <laughs> that might have been it. What else we got? Um, this one's a really green one. Ooh, that's really green. It's really neat looking. It's, it's kind of showing yellow for you guys, but for me it's really super green. Uh, almost an emerald. It's really rather pretty, actually. But he's gone completely. Never had a chance. So the other one. This one's not green, but it is clear. It's kind of a weird shape, too. It's a little small one compared to, say, there's a big one. You know, another one about the same size. Or not the same size, another one rather larger. Can you see that? But it's empty as well. In fact, it oh got right in the ice. It didn't have any babies. Here's another clear one. Sorry, I keep shining this light <laughs> right into the camera. It's a very bright light. Okay, this one. Uh, I, it doesn't look clear, uh, and in fact, it might not be. There may be something inside. I can't see any kind of darkness. Uh, I don't see ugh, I don't see any veins. <clears throat> I looked really hard on this one, and chances are, even if it was alive, it isn't anymore, because it's been out for a while. Uh, I took out the ones that I was, you know, kind of iffy on. This one, as a matter of fact, has a bit of a crack in its shell. It's got this little hole here. That's not a hole in the egg. That is a hole in the shell itself. Uh, in the uh, it is a hole in the egg. It is a sort of a a flaking and you can't really see this in daylight but it's like the top of the eggshell kind of flaked off but it hasn't penetrated the egg um, most likely this egg came to me like this uh, and you see it's got some cracks on top too maybe you can see that oops mm, maybe I don't know you can definitely see the cracks here On that side. There's a really good one. See those cracks? So that one either had no chance or I just murdered it by taking it out. And of course here's another clear one. And this one. Uh, okay, it looks like this one I took out because it was another death another dead one. Uh, red ring of death of uh, either it was dropped or mishandled or it just sorta of gave up. But I see no, um, I see no vasculation anywhere on this any in any part of the egg, except for one area right here, and it goes. Oh, oh that's, and you know it's kind of smudgy, but like I said, we're gonna open these up, and I hope I don't kill any baby chicks doing this. I probably already have because they are very cold right now. All right, this one. This one was a definite cracked egg. See if camera will pick it up. There's a crack right here, and I can actually feel that crack. Maybe? Um, let me see. That must have been it, the only reason I took that one out. Oh, um, and besides the fact that it's uh, empty, I can't see anything inside of it. It's, it's showing very dark on the camera, because this is a darker egg. I think when I turn the light on, this will be one of the sort of purple eggs. But either it didn't develop, or, you know, I might have killed it. 
hope this isn't getting born yet. But there's another empty egg. You can see the yolk right there. Oh, it also has got <laughs> quite a bad... Either a crack, it looks like a crack, or uh, it wasn't developed properly. These came in the mail, so I'm not surprised there were a few just like this. Uh, one of them came completely obliterated, and another one came uh, broken, like uh, really cracked badly. So I ate that one, and the obliterated one I just kind of rinsed down the sink. Okay, this one's got a big old crack in it. You can see all the way through there. I can feel that one too. Um, I didn't notice these when I put them in, but I also didn't candle them when I put them in. I just set them straight into the incubator and left them alone for a while and then laid them on their sides later. There's no whoop, there's no smell, so that's not, you know, an explosive egg or anything like that. It's just kind of a cracked little egg. It happens. And one more, I think. And, whoops, this one's, this one's just another dark one. I can't see anything inside of it. Uh, whoa. Maybe I could if I didn't shine myself in the eyes. There's a little bit of a blood spot here. Um, maybe, hmm, maybe it's not picking up. There's a couple little dots that's right between. But I think this one also died very, very early. Ah, well, see, that's all my dead eggs. And my live eggs. I didn't want to compromise those. We'll get that color difference, maybe. Yeah, no, well, it's not gonna focus. Oh, I don't know. My hand is very, <laughs> it's very pink. Oh, I wonder if I should reshoot this.